Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my favorite face products for dry skin. Not all face products, obviously, but mainly the base products. Like everything you lay down before you go in with bronzer, blush, highlight, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be talking about my favorite primers, foundations, concealers, and powders. I actually took this video idea from Jamie, Jamie Page Beauty. I will link her video down below. She did a video just like this. And I thought that would be a great idea for me to do as well. So all credit goes to her. I will link her video down below. I loved it. She shared really great products and we actually have some similar products. So anyway, I've really decided to narrow it down to products that are very hydrating and very moisturizing. As you guys know, I have very dry skin and all the products I'm going to talk about today sit really well on my dry skin and it just works with my skin. Now I'm not saying these are the ultimate best, but these are my favorite and I highly recommend everything I'm going to talk about. I wanted to skip on like the shimmery and the glowy kind of products. For example, for primers, I love the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator. It's also great for dry skin, but it has like a pearly finish like it looks shimmery and like a sheen on your face those are not the kind of products I'm gonna be talking about today not like liquid illuminators or anything like that nothing very highlighty <laughs> just strictly moisturizing hydrating products that work for dry skin types because maybe you have dry skin but you don't want to be shimmery either I understand this video is for you. So I'm gonna start with primers. The Too Faced Hangover X primer is one of the best primers for dry skin. I don't think it makes your makeup last all day, like it's not a makeup extender, but it just goes on like a moisturizer that just sinks into the skin and all of a sudden your face feels nice and plump and hydrated. It smells like coconuts, it has coconut water in it, and it's silicone free. I love this. I kind of feel the same way about all three of these primers I'm gonna share with you. I'm excessive and I have to talk about three even though I feel like sometimes I do the same thing. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. So similar to the Too Faced one. Feels like a moisturizer going on your skin. It kind of feels like your skin just drank some water. Your skin feels very, very like refreshed and all the dry flakiness is gone and it's ready for makeup. This one though, this one I do think it makes my makeup last a little bit longer than the other two. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. This kind of goes on clear, kind of like the same consistency as the other ones, kind of milky, but this one I find gets a little bit tackier than the other ones, a little bit stickier. I find that I have to rub it in a little bit more, but I kind of like that because it leaves my face super moisturized, but a little bit tacky to where I find that foundation really sticks to it. Awesome for my dry skin, another tall glass of water, honestly. Let's talk about foundations. I do have to apologize though. You guys know in my videos, I'm always talking about high-end and drugstore. There's always like a good mix. But when I sat down to film this video and I grabbed all of my honest, like honest true favorites for dry skin, there weren't many drugstore favorites for some reason. I don't know why. I love a lot of illuminators from the drugstore, like glowy liquidy products. But besides that, I don't know why, I don't know. So I'm so sorry that there's like 90% high-end stuff in this video, I really do apologize. But the drugstore picks I do have in this video, I do love as well. Okay, so foundations. You guys know my all-time favorite foundation is the Makeup Forever Face and Body. I use the shade number 20. This is the foundation that changed the game for me. I love a lot of foundations, not as much as I love this one. It has very light coverage, like very light coverage, but it can build to like a medium coverage. You can put layer after layer after layer of this. It's very water-based, which is awesome. It looks beautiful on my skin. Even when my skin is the driest, the driest. This looks flawless. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Makeup Forever is actually discontinuing the face and body foundation. I bought a couple backups. They are now replacing it with the Water Blend Foundation, which is very good. I tried it, it's good. Not as good as this one though, but very similar. My next favorite for dry skin is from the drugstore and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the original Fit Me. They have a matte and poreless one, which is also excellent if you like a matte foundation. This one is the original and it is so glowy, so dewy. I feel like this foundation is very hit or miss. I'm someone it really works for. Again, even when my skin is feeling so, so dry, this looks awesome on top of it. Doesn't sink into any of the fine lines. It just gives my face a beautiful glow. And I also find that the coverage is really good on this foundation considering it's for dry skin. Most of my foundations for dry skin have like a light coverage, light to medium. This one layered, I can get a really, really great coverage. And it does not look cakey, which is the problem a lot of us dry girls have. My next favorite is 
probably my dewiest out of the bunch. Besides my face and body, this one just looks like your Jennifer Lopez. It doesn't have any shimmer or glitter or anything, but it's just so beautiful. I should tell you what this is, right? This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is Jennifer Lopez in a bottle. This foundation has light coverage, but it just evens out your skin tone. It makes your skin look so beautiful. I'm gonna say the same thing for each foundation. It looks like your skin just drank some water, but it does. It looks flawless in photos too. In flash photography, this looks beautiful. Just glowing young skin i will say though for some reason i really have to work with this foundation i kind of didn't like it at first because i thought it was just sitting on top of my skin but no you, this is the kind of foundation you really have to work into your skin i have to sit there and like buff it in circular motions but once i do it just sinks into the skin and looks beautiful another affordable option if you have dry skin is the bourgeois healthy mix serum you can't get this in the states but if you're overseas or like in boots i think they sell this in boots this foundation is actually very long wearing on me. I like the coverage, like it looks really good throughout the whole day. It does have more of like a gel serum -y consistency, which really hydrates my skin. This just makes me look so glowy. <laughs> this video is so repetitive. Beautiful, beautiful foundation, like one of my favorites for sure. Now I wanna talk about a more luxurious foundation. If you are into luxury makeup and you have dry skin, I really, really recommend the Gojindo Aqua Foundation. I think it's similar to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation that everybody's obsessed with, but I think this one is better. This one lasts longer on my skin. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now. I'm in the shade 213. I like the coverage. I mean, I'm wearing powder on top, which I'll talk about in a little while, but I think it has enough coverage. Like, I definitely have to build it up on my cheeks, but it never looks cakey. It just always looks fresh. Like, you look fresh and healthy when you wear it. This video is gonna be a million years long. Let's talk about concealers. I gotta give a shout out to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's been holding it down for me for years. This concealer, it's very fresh looking. It has a dewy finish. You definitely have to set this because of not a will crease, but it doesn't look cakey underneath the eyes. If you have very, very dry under eyes, it doesn't emphasize the dryness. It just looks really nice with decent coverage. I think I get like a nice medium coverage with this. This next one is even dewier is crazy. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is a hardcore concealer, guys. I think that you either love this or hate this. I have very dry skin. I happen to like this a lot. This has really, really good coverage. I'm talking full coverage, but it has an incredible dewy finish. I don't know how they did that, but it's like a serum-y concealer, and it kind of looks wet on the face. I think with this one though, I do have to spend a little bit longer blending it out with a beauty blender or a brush or anything. If you have dry skin though, I highly recommend you switching over to a sponge, a beauty blender. It always gives you like a more of a fresh finish. I do have to spend more time blending this out because if not, it can look a little bit too much. I wanna give a shout out to the Wet n Wild Highlighting and Concealing Pen because I've tried a lot of pen, um, illuminating concealers or like hydrating concealers like this and this one is my favorite and it's like three dollars sometimes i'll put on a concealer and i'll realize that it looks a little dry i will throw this right on top and blend it in with my concealer and this just helps the other concealer blend out so perfectly and smooth love this little wet and wild pen and then my last favorite i'm like i love this product so much i will definitely be repurchasing this this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light. This is the concealer I'm wearing underneath my eyes. This is the first pot concealer that I truly, truly love. This works on blemishes and underneath your eyes. This works so great underneath your eyes. It's a very glowy concealer. You think it's in a pot, it's drying, it's cakey. No, it's not. It's so beautiful. I love this. It's very, very emollient. Like when you apply it underneath your eyes, it's like shiny. Like this is very, very dewy, but it has amazing coverage as well. I like this one more than the Bare Minerals one because it's easier to blend out for me. I just have to tap it in. This is a concealer you have to set though right away, like right away because it's so creamy, it will crease. And you could even use this like on all, on your entire face. Like it's amazing. Okay, let's talk about powders. You guys already know that the RCMA No Color Powder is hands down like my favorite powder of all time. When it comes to being a powder that has like no color, you know, not like a powder foundation or anything like that, this one is my favorite. I like it way more than the Laura Mercier Translucent powder. That powder is good. I like it, but if my skin is really, really, really dry, I can't use it. It will emphasize my dryness. This one never emphasizes my dryness. There's no white cast in photos. It will set my under eye concealer. It will bake my face. It will set my whole face. It will do it all. I love this baby. 
I want to talk about these products really quick because even though people consider these highlighters, they're not to me. And they are the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Some of these I really, really don't like. Like dim light does not work for my skin tone. I just don't like it. Some of their new like strobing highlighters are not my favorite. Others are good, but these ambient lighting powders are so ideal for us dry skin that the price tag is worth it in my opinion. I used to knock these off like, ah, oh, those hourglass powders, so pricey, they suck, da, da, da. but they're just made like nothing is. I love using ethereal light. This is ethereal light. It's like a white powder, but it's not chalky at all. It's like perfect for us. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, and I like to use this to set my under eye concealer. And then I use this one in luminous light whenever I want kind of like more of an all over glow to my face. Okay, so now let's talk about powders with color in them. Not translucent, color ones. From the drugstore, I actually do have a powder I really, really like that I think is great for dry skin. It is the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. I think the whole Fit Me range is great for dry skin. This is in the shade 135 Creamy Natural. I use this one to set my under eye concealer or like in my T-zone. This powder feels like butter when I blend it. They also have a Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, which I've never tried, but their original one is so creamy to the touch. It feels velvety on your hands. Doesn't emphasize any of my dryness. It almost makes my skin look very healthy healthy and youthful for a powder. It's really, really, really great. And then my other favorite is so pricey. Okay, this, I've just come to the conclusion that this is my favorite powder I've ever discovered in like a powder foundation kind of thing. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact Dual Use Powder Compact. This is like a luminous silk foundation in a compact. I'm gonna assume it doesn't say foundation, but there's coverage to this and it's actually pretty decent coverage for being a powder. I love this. I love this. This was so pricey. I got it during the VIB sale, but it is beautiful. This sets my makeup flawlessly. Like I set my makeup all the time now. I set my makeup using this today. And even though I was like packing on the powder, I was like putting it all over my face. My face never looked powdery, never looked cakey, never looks dry. It just looks like you've set your foundation with like a velvety, soft, natural powder that just always looks good. I do want to mention a affordable alternative. I don't think it's as good and I don't think it's a dupe, but I also really, really like the Bourjois Healthy Balance powder. I have mine in 52 vanilla. This has a very creamy, luxurious texture to it as well. The Giorgio Armani one is a little bit better for dry skin, a little bit more luminous looking, but this one is really nice and doesn't emphasize my dry skin, even though it says it's a matte powder. Okay guys, so that completes this video. Those were my favorite primers, foundations, concealers, and powders for dry skin. If you have dry skin and there's something that you absolutely love that I didn't mention today, please, please write it down below. I love discovering new products for my skin type. It's like an obsession. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.